lovely Victoria. Morning. Um, and you all said, actually, we'll do it. I haven't advertised it, but I just did a would you like to do it story that we were doing it. So um, we were just thinking the best setup for you, because when you do them, when you do them, you'll yeah. show them. I can demonstrate here. Like that. But perfect. we can also see you. And people can see me in the background. So yeah. I think that works. Um, and then we're both doing that flow. What do we think? But when you're doing poses, you do do. You yes, do so you'll be able to see me here. I'll face the camera for the balance poses. Yeah, I yeah. think that should work. Let's see. Um, is anyone on? What do we feel? Does that work for you? Um, we're doing yoga this morning, and it's a new one for us. Well, it's a new one for you guys, us as a collective, but I've been doing it with Victoria Woodhall for a year, if not longer, nearly every year. And I, I, the idea of yoga to me was not my kind of um, workout, and I've been doing a lot of um, functional strength training, which is brilliant for perimenopause and menopausal. But, um, oh good, I'm glad you love to. So... Um, I'm really excited to be doing this with you because it's helped me so much and it just brings a different element to making ourselves feel strong and well during the week. So if you're ready, um, Victoria, you're so toned, says Belvia. Um, yoga rocks. So if you're ready, we're going to start and um, all you need is a mat. That's it. Um, fantastic. Oh, they're all very, very happy that we're doing it today. Okay, Brilliant. great. That's Excellent. Great. So we're going to be here for about an hour. Yeah. I, if so you know, know, yeah, so if you, know you have um, tight hamstrings, please remember to bend very safely with a bend in the knee when you're forward bending, um, so we're not bulging the back. And also, when we're sitting down, doing these kind of forward bending poses, you might just want to have a cushion handy to put under your bum. Obviously, if you've got yoga blocks and a belt, um, Please bring those if you like them. Um, you can have any kind of dressing gown, belt as well, or a scarf, that will do. I think I've got your blocks. I don't yeah. think I'm going to be needing a belt today. Okay. Okay. And if people I'm... want to build up, we're going to do this every Saturday, these blocks are yoga matters. I think there's lots of blocks you can get them on Amazon, but like we do with our little extra things that we have for us, mm -hmm. they do help in certain poses if you don't feel you can get your arm or head or leg there. So. I think they're worth yeah. getting. Those are cork, so I like those because they're more sustainable than the foam, the foam ones. They're yogamatters.com, they're their own okay, right. brand. So we're actually just going to start on all fours. Please come to all fours on your mat. Spread your hands nice and broadly. Line your wrist creases up with the front of the mat. Knees underneath your hips. And we're just going to warm up the spine with some cacao. Tilt. So we're going to inhale, drop the belly, look forward, keeping the back of the neck. Uh, quite long, we're not going to crunch the neck round the back. And here we're just starting to get the breath moving. So in yoga, we always breathe through the nose if we can. And you take smooth, deep, even, steady breaths in and out through the nose. So we're moving and breathing. So all of these poses are optional, but if you just breathe with us for an hour, we'll call that a big win. And so we're moving um, in circles now. We're warming up the wrists and the hips. Mine are a little bit clicky this morning. Yeah. You'll feel a few clunks. The hands spread nice and broad, Trini. That's it. So a nice firm connection with it with the ground. And then we're going to tuck the toes, lift the hips high, keep the knees bent on this first one. Stretch the chest towards the thighs for downward facing dog. So this is a nice back stretch. And then gently pedaling out the feet to release the hamstrings. Ooh. It's first thing in the morning here when it's uh, just, just on eight o'clock, so um, certainly feel everything in the morning, I find. Okay, from there. Inhale, we're going to bring the shoulders over the wrists for plank. Exhale, lower the knees. Now point the toes. Bending the elbows lower slowly all the way down to the mat with control. Inhale, lift just the heart, back of the neck stays long, squeeze the elbows in, lovely. Lift up a little bit higher so your navel stays on the floor. Exhale, chin down, lift the hips, straighten the arms, downward facing dog, tap toes. So you might feel like you can stretch out the legs a little bit more here. Breathing in, breathing out through the nose, deep breath in. Long, slow breath out, inhale, plank. Exhale, lower knees, bend the elbows all the way down, toes are pointed. 
Inhale, lift the heart so my navel is on the floor. And now we're just going to hover the arms up. So we really feel where we want to feel these low cobras, they're called, in, in the back. So you've kind of, kind of got a kind of girdle of muscles here. This is what we want to be working. Exhale, hands down. Lift the hips first. Downward facing dog. Very nice. And from here, we're just going to raise the right leg to the sky. The real leg dog, press the left heel to the floor towards the floor. Mine doesn't go all the way down. Bend the knee off centre and open the hips out to the right hip opener. That right leg is going to step outside the right hand. Just give it a little shove if you want to go. Back knee down. Just going to do some hip circles. Getting into that hip. Doesn't have to look like anything special. We're just warming up this big hip joint here that can get so tight. So my foot's quite wide, it's off the mat, so it's sort of pointing out to about two o'clock. That's my right foot. Replace the right hand, tuck the back toe, swing it up and back. So we're back in on the leg of dog. Exhale, take the foot down. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower knees, come all the way down with control. Inhale, lift the heart, feel the lower back working. So it's not the arms, it's the back that's keeping me up. Exhale, hands down, lift hips down, facing down. Left leg is take it off centre. Three legged dog, spin the shoulders towards the mat. So the right, uh, left shoulder is coming down. Pull the top toe. Exhale. Step that left foot outside the left hand. You can take the back knee down for this if that's more comfortable. Just bringing some lubrication to that hip joint. Very nice. Tuck the back toe. Swing it up and back. We're back in the three legged dog. So we're just warming up here. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower the knees with control all the way down. Slowly, slowly, slowly. So your arm strength is building. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, chin down, hips lift. Downward facing dog. So we do that hip lift first. It really helps us protect the back when we're pushing back to downward facing dog. Inhale, we're going to stay here for five. Exhale, one, stay here. Inhale. Exhale, two, hands nice and broad. Inhale, exhale, three, hips are lifting. Inhale, exhale, four, the heart is sinking down towards the thighs. Inhale, exhale, five. Bend the knees, look forward. Now we're going to walk the hands to the back of the mat, hanging in a ragdoll. So release the hands, release the wrist, you might want to give them a shake. And sway from side to side. You can grab elbows, you can just let your hands hang loose, whatever you need. But Bend your knees so that we're not um, putting any pressure on the lower back. Oh, so nice to get the head below the heart. Okay, from there, we're going to interlock the fingers behind the back, making a fist, taking the arms up and over, stretching the shoulders, relax the head, really let it go. And then you're going to work your legs towards straight. That's it, release the head. And from here, deeply bend the right knee, and drop the right ear towards the right knee. Right ear to knee, same ear to knee. Straighten the left leg a little. You should feel it in the left hamstring. Ooh. Switch sides. Now bend the left knee, drop the left ear to the left knee. Hello, right hamstring. Lift the fist up, lift the belly up. Oh, really starting to feel it now. Back to center, release the hands, shake out the wrists, walk it all the way back into plank. We're lowering all the way down. If you know the full yoga push-up, Chaturanga, please take that. Don't let me stop you. I know there's some experienced yogis here. And back down, facing dog. Take the dog wide. So I'm taking my hands and feet kind of mat width or even off, slightly off the mat. Doing a slightly different stretch here. We're going to knock the head, yes. Shake it, no. And then do some neck rolls. Oh, this is so nice. To allow the neck full range of movement when there's no, there's no weight on it. Inhale deeply, exhale, blubber your lips <laughs> like a horse. Oh, such a nice release to the jaw. Replace the hands, you and your normal downward facing dog. Soften the knees, look forward. Make your way to the front of the mat. Fingertips on the floor, look up. Exhale, fold down, look at your belly button. Pressing into the feet, sweep the hands all the way up overhead. Exhale, hands down in front of the heart. So we've warmed up all the muscles, we're going into our sun salutations now. Just going to take a couple of 
moments just to connect with the breath. So this is really a breathing practice and we overlay movement onto the breath. So if you do nothing else, you don't have to do any of the poses, just breathe. So hands together at your heart, feel a thumb knuckle on your breastbone. Your big toes are touching and your heels are slightly apart. Take a deep breath in through the nose and a sighing exhalation through the mouth. Deep breath in. Take a deep breath in and this time on the ha sound with the mouth closed. Deep breath in through the nose. Ha with the mouth closed. Deep breath in, with the mouth closed. Now keep that ha sound going on the inhale as well as the exhale. So you're making this lovely ocean sound. So this provides them um, a kind of steadiness, an internal focus. And focus and concentration are the steps towards meditation. So this is where we get the kind of mental benefits of the practice too. By connecting with this ocean breath, we call it ujjayi breath, victorious breath. We're going to try and keep that going throughout the practice. It provides a lovely steadiness and a lovely rhythm to the practice. Are you ready? Inhale, big ujjayi breath, ocean breath in as you sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold forward through bent knees, fingertips on the floor, relax the head. Inhale, come up to a flat back. Exhale, step to the back of the mat, so you're in plank and lower, either full push up or the knees down as we did before, chest to the floor. Inhale, swoop your chest through. And exhale, rolling over, toes down, facing up. Yes, it's true, staying off our knees. So it's yogi's choice here. Down, facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, one, two. Inhale. Exhale, two. Breathing with sound, that ocean breath. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Lift the hips. Inhale. Exhale, five, lovely, soften the knees, look forward, make your way to the front of the mat, jump, step, walk, look up, exhale, fold, pressing into the feet, come all the way up, sweep the arms over the head, exhale, hands in prayer in front of the heart, big breath in with sound, inhale, hear your breath, exhale, fold, inhale, look up, we're just doing exactly the same again. Exhale, make your way to the back of the mat, either lower knees, belly, chest, or all the way to yoga push-up. Inhale, lift the heart, swoop the chest forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay here for five, inhale. Exhale, one, so it doesn't matter if the heels never reach the floor, but they're just moving towards the floor. So you're stretching out the backs of the legs. Turn up your breath. Very nice. Inhale for four, exhale for four, hands nice and broad. Let's call that five, soften the knees, look forward, make your way to the front of the mat, look up. Exhale, fold, swoop the arms on a big inhale, hear your breath, look up. Exhale, hands in prayer in front of the heart, sun salutation B, we're stepping it up now, sink into chair, so your hips come low, arms come up, belly draws in. Exhale, fold forward and then release. Inhale, come up to flat back. Exhale, step it back up to the back of the mat into plank. And then lower all the way down. So knees, belly, chest, or yoga push up, chaturanga. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, down facing dog. Inhale, the right leg lifts like we did before. Exhale, step it forward, look forward. You're in a lunge, squeeze the thighs in. Inhale, keeping the back heel off with control, come all the way up, swoop the arms up, or exhale, hands down. We're gonna swing that leg up and back again, hips off centre, take it down. Inhale, plank, exhale, lower. So I'm gonna do knees, belly, chest, just to remind you. Inhale, lift the heart, so I'm staying low cobra here. Exhale, chin down, arms straight, downward facing dog, other side. Left leg lifts. Exhale, step it forward and look forward, squeeze the thighs in. Inhale, come all the way up, hear your breath, look at your thumbs if you can. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, swing it up and back. Hips off centre, bend the top knee. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, plank. Exhale, 
inhale lower inhale heart lifts rolling over the toes exhale down facing dog staying here for five inhale exhale one how's everybody doing inhale feeling warm exhale two deep breath in through the nose exhale three this is looking lovely inhale exhale four inhale Exhale, five, soften knees, look forward, inhale, make your way to the front of the mat, look up. Exhale, fold, sink the hips low, arms come back up into chair. Exhale, hands in prayer in front of the heart, feeling warm. We've warmed up big muscles now, we're going to come into our standing poses. Back into chair, inhale. Just going to hold three breaths, sink the hips low, feel the weight transferring to the heels. Look forward, lift the belly. And then the hands are going to come together, knees are going to stay glued together, left elbow outside, right knee, and roll that top shoulder back. So the hips are nice and level, my knees not popping forward, looking over your top shoulder if that's possible, if not just look down. Very nice, back to chair, look up, exhale other side, right elbow, left knee, keep the knees glued together, roll the top shoulder back. Roll that right knee back so it's glued to the left one. Inhale back to centre, back to chair. Half chair, turning up the heat now. Press the palms away, sit low, sit low, sit low. Like a downhill skiing. Lift the elbows up. Turn up your breath. So poses like this where we need a little bit more on, where they're a bit more challenging, just turn up the breath. Very nice. Oh, so nice when it's over. Release. <laughs> Heel toe the feet apart, so to the edge of the mat. We're going to come into a squat. So, Trini, I know you like, prefer the higher squat for your knees. So, wherever is comfortable. Everybody is just opening out the inner thighs in some way. Now, you can stay here in the squat or building up to the arm balance crow pose. If you want to follow me for that, um, place your hands flat on the floor, about shoulder width apart. Your knees are going to come high up your upper arms and slightly to the outside, and they're going to squeeze them in. Hands on the floor, look forward, lift the hips. So if you're building up to it, you're just lifting one foot off, swapping, lifting the other foot off. Look forward. You're going to feel like you might face plant, but you won't if, uh, if you just keep the one foot on the floor. If you know full crow pose, where you lift both feet off, come up, please do. Very nice for me. And when you're ready, step it back, down facing dog, drop to the knees, everybody sit back in child's pose, take the weight off the wrists, you might want to shake it out. Deep breath in, long slow breath out. Okay, down facing dog, we're getting ready for our standing poses now. Right leg, leg lifts to the sky. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. You're back in that lunge. The back heel comes down this time and you're lifting up the arms and lifting the hips. This is warrior one. The arms can be wide or together. You're looking up and you've got a deep bend in the front knee and the outside edge of the back foot is pressing into the floor. Warrior one, hips are lined up at the front of the mat. Oh. Big breath in. Long, slow breath out. Warrior two, open your hips and your arms to the sides, you're out to a T, bend the front knee even more. Arms in opposing directions, so feel like somebody's pulling your back hand back. Lifting the pelvic floor muscles up. Big breath in, looking softly over your front fingers, long, slow breath out. Very nice. Inhale, straight the front leg, shorten the stance a little bit, so bring your back foot in. Reach forward with that right hand and take the hand to the shin, the big toe, wherever you can, and raise the left arm up. You're like a piece of toast in a toaster, and you're working this front leg towards straight. That's it. So the hand is resting on the shin, the ankle, and you're pushing that top hand up as if you're trying to push something away towards the ceiling. Both legs are really strong. This is really nice. How is your breathing? Swoop that top arm over, frame the front foot with your hands and step the back foot in. We're going for a revolving triangle. 
first of all we're going to just do a forward bend over that front leg. So here is where you can take your blocks. If your fingers don't reach the floor, basically the blocks bring the floor closer to you. Forward bend. You can stay here or option to place the left hand down, right arm on the lower back and then reach to the sky revolving triangle. So feel like, imagine I'm there pulling your hips backwards. Front leg works towards straight. Very nice. How is your breath? Take that hand down so you're back framing that front foot again. Walk the hands forward a little bit. Spin off that back heel and let's just see if you can catch a little bit of air under that back foot. It can just be an inch. Look forward and you may even be able to raise your hands off or in three. Back leg is nice and strong so there's like a finger. Keep your hands down if that's where you're working to. Absolutely fine. Picture warrior two, that T-shape in your mind's eye. We're going to come back to there. Slip it back. Very nice. Two more poses on this side, and I'm going to take a little break and do the other side. Forearm to thigh, on the, on the right, sweep the arm up and over, so the little finger side is pointing down. Again, another two-dimensional pose, and my bottom shoulder is rolling back. Arm comes up and over, that's it. Yeah. Really nice, so I'm rolling through this finger, so the little finger side pointing down, it just gives her a bit more opening in the shoulder, and I'm pressing down on the outside edge of her back foot, so she keeps this back leg really nice and strong. <laughs> Very nice. Inhale, come all the way back up. Spin your hips to the front of the mat, the left arm comes up, left elbow outside, right knee taking the twist, so that same arm position. Option to take the back knee down here. If you find this a little bit scrunchy, there's a more of an open twist you can take here. So, revolving side angle, this is called. So we stay in most of these poses for five breaths. You'll find we move on quite fast, but we keep the breath nice and steady, like a metronome. Hands down, step it back, you're in downward facing dog. Inhale, plank, exhale, lower the knees, belly, chest to the floor. Inhale, lift the heart, remember your back is working, Exhale, hands down, sit back into it. Let's do puppy pose. Another one of these resting poses. So hips are over the knees and you're walking your hands out in front of you. Head is nice and relaxed. Option to stay here if you're enjoying the resting puppy pose or we're working on shoulder strength. So if you want to take this next pose, your forearms come to the floor. They are about forearms length apart. You're gonna lift your hips up and relax the head for now. Walk the feet in as far as they'll go and then push back through the elbows. Really feel your shoulders working. If you want to add a little bit more, you can raise one leg off, look forward, put it down, raise the other leg up. And if you're working on the forearm stand, you can try little hops, but here is probably quite intense for most people. That's it. And take it down. Let's sit back into child's pose. Find your breath again, that even, steady, ujjayi, victorious ocean breath, in through the nose, out through the nose, deep, even, steady breathing. Hearing the sound of your breath. And when you're ready, we're gonna do all that sequence of poses on the left side. So, come into down facing dog. I know. Raise the left leg to the sky. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. The back heel comes down and you're going to raise the arms up into warrior one, hips face the front of the mat. Back leg nice and strong, deep bend in the front knee. So with every inhale, you're going to lift the chest higher. With every exhale, you're going to sink the front knee deeper. Hips face the front of the mat. Big breath in, feel your breath in your chest like a balloon, feeling lighter, more buoyant. And on the exhale, feeling more grounded. Open hips and arms, warrior two. So feel like I'm pulling your back hand and you're pushing your front hand. Deeply bend the front knee. That's looking really nice. Cat is about to eat my jumper. Rolling that 
right hip back. Straighten the front leg on the inhale, shorten the stance, reach forward and drop the hand to the shin or ankle, or carry the thigh, and reach the top arm up, triangle pose. So your back leg is really strong here, driving through the front heel to switch some weight into the back, and looking up at your thumb, or just straight ahead, whatever's comfortable on the neck. Feel like you're pushing something away here, like you're trying to push the ceiling higher. Spiral that arm over, frame the front foot, step the back foot in, and take a forward bend over that front leg, working it towards straight. So wherever's right for you, you will feel a stretch in that front leg hamstring. Relax the head. Very nice. Can you hear your breath? The back heel is grounded, so you might want to step it in a little bit more towards the front of the mat so you can make sure it's on the... That's it. Yeah. So you feel nice and steady. So before we get crazy, flexible or bendy, steadiness is what we're after. So if we do everything safely, press the right hand down and spin the left hand to the sky or you can just keep it on your sacrum and imagine I've got my hands on your hips and I'm pulling the hips back and the crown of the head is coming forward. How is your breathing? Deep breath in. That's it, breathing with sound. Very nice, take that hand down, spin off the back heel and you're walking the hands forward and you're gonna see if you can catch some air under the back foot. And you might be able to catch some air under the fingertips too. See how you go, all our options. Warrior three, this is called. Really lovely flying pose. Step it back, warrior two. Just two more poses to go on this side. Forearm to thigh on the left, right arm up and over. My little finger side is spinning round, so I'm keeping my shoulder nice and open, and I'm rolling this bottom shoulder back. Also, push through the front heel, take weight to the back. Oh, this feels so lovely and opening. I love this side stretch here. Very nice. Look down, right other outside left knee. You can drop the uh, right knee down if you like or take the open twist if you prefer that one. Lots of options here. So you can do it back knee off, back knee down, or you can do it in the open twist. Very nice. Uncurl, hands down, step it back down facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower knees, belly chest to the floor. Inhale, lift the heart, back is working. Exhale, chin down. And we're back in our puppy pose. So you're either taking a rest here in puppy pose, which is gorgeous in itself because it stretches out the armpit. Whoever does an armpit stretch in a normal day. Or you're back on your forearms, lifting the hips. So you're a forearm dog working on your shoulder strength. You might be lifting one leg. You might be lifting the other leg. You might be experimenting with little hops. If you are little hopping, you first of all raise the leg as far as you can and then you just bounce off that bottom leg. Keep looking forward. And the other leg. And come down. Oh. Everybody takes child's pose, so knees wide. Sink the hips and relax the head. I like to rock my neck from side to side. Give a nice little release here. Sinking the hips down, mm. taking the weight off the mind. When you're ready, back into down facing dog, set the right leg forward, come all the way up to warrior two and then take the, face the side of the mat. Very nice. Side, oh, we're going to do some side stretches. Take the arms out wide, take the hands to the hips, inhale, lift the heart, exhale, fold forward, take hands on the floor or on blocks just in front of you. Just make sure your feet are parallel with the edge of the mat, so you might feel a bit pigeon toed here. And then if you can, walk your fingers in line with your toes and then fold forward, lift the hips, relax the head. So Trini, your fingers are facing me, that's it, yeah, relax the head. 
you. Just slightly different stretch, so we're opening out the backs of the legs. You'll probably feel it here a little bit more. With every inhale, lift the hips a little higher. With every exhale, relax the head a little more. Shoulders lift. Hmm. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hands to the hips. Inhale, stand all the way up. We've got one more forward bend like this. We're going to interlock the fingers behind the back like this. Lift the heart and fold forward and down, taking the arms up and over. Very nice. Inhale. Exhale. Relax the head. Lift the kneecaps up. Yes. Very nice. Big dig, big, big breath in. Long, slow breath out. One more breath in. Lift the uh, fists higher, lift the elbows, lift the, the shoulders. And relax, release the hands, shake out the wrists. Take the hands on the mat in front of you, and you're going to turn your feet out. So we know in this four stuff, I'm going to demonstrate it like this. And you're just going to straighten one leg and then the other. When we're stretching the inner thighs, these in our normal day, the inner thighs never get a stretch. So it's really lovely to be able to do that in yoga because it, will, it helps this whole muscle area, our lower back, our hips, function normally. So this is part of our natural range of movement that we're just getting back to. That's it. Very nice. And from there, we are just going to sit down on the floor in that side, same wide-legged position. This, because we never sit wide like this, we're always told to put our legs a slightly more ladylike fashion so this can be quite tight for a lot of people so you can sit on a cushion or on some blocks um, to raise the hips up to make this more comfortable toes point up take the fingertips behind you lift the heart and from here we're just going to fold forward using the fingers to help us come forward so we're keeping the back nice and flat and open that's lovely toes draw towards the hips find your breath Lifting up in the pelvic floor. It's helping to keep that area stable and safe and engaged. This might be enough for you today. You might be feeling all sorts of things in the hips. If you want to come forward a little more, you grab the big toes, draw the elbows back and start to come forward. You want to keep the back nice and flat if you can, tilting the pelvis forward. Really nice. Pressing the thighs down. Inhale, you reach a little further. With every exhale, you fold a little deeper. This is looking lovely. Inhale, come up. Just going to stretch to the side. Doesn't matter which side, we're going to do both. So I'm putting my elbow sort of inside the knee, taking the arm up and over, but wherever's comfortable. Stretching the side of the body. Press the leg that you're stretching away from down really strongly. And taking the other side. Spinning the chest open, coming back to centre, cross the ankles, take the hands on the floor or on blocks. You can keep your feet on the floor for this and you're going to try and lift your bum up, keep the chin lifted, so this is core work here. If you can, you can take your feet off, oh, take it all the way down, release. We're going to come back up into that wide legged stance where we were before. And this time we're going to walk the hands to the front of the mat, frame the front foot, drop the back knee, point the back toes, and straighten that first front leg. This is called half handman, half splits. Fold forward. Again, your hands might be on blocks here. Yeah, really nice. So with every inhale, you're going to reach the chin a little bit further forward, reach the body forward. With every exhale, fold a little deeper. If you have done yoga before and you are working towards the full Hanuman splits, don't let me stop you. But for most of us, we're feeling quite a lot in this front hamstring already. Inhale, come up. I'm just going to do exactly the same on the other side. So you're going to walk to the back of the mat. I'm going to swap my legs so you can see me. So the right leg comes forward. My back hip 
is over my back knee and fold forward. Hands on the floor or on blocks. With every inhale, I'm gonna reach a little bit further forward with the chin, draw the foot to the face, exhale, fold a little, sorry, foot a little, chin a little further forward to the foot. So folding forward over that front leg. And if you're working towards full splits, please go ahead. Deep breath in. Listen to the sound of your breath, the soothing ocean sound. Very nice. Everybody come back into downward facing dog. We're gonna come into our balance pose now. Bend the knees and make your way to the front of the mat. Very gently shake out the wrists, hands on hips, and very slowly uncurl. Ready for your balance pose, tree pose. It's one of the most famous yoga poses there is. But balance can be challenging. I know Tr Trini has been working really hard on your balance lately. Um, so you might want a support, a chair, or a bookshelf, a fireplace. Um, please do. So everybody pick up the right leg. If you do want to support, have it on the left side. So you might be leaning against a, a wall. Everybody pick up the left knee. If you are... Right knee. Uh, right knee, thank you. Everybody pick up the right knee. Or the right big toe. If you are experiencing this uh, balance and you want to do the straight leg inversion, please do. Pick up the right knee. And everybody take the leg out to the side. And then you're gonna put your heel on your inner thigh, pressing it really strongly and pressing back with the inner thigh. If that is uh, not in your range of motion yet, there's a medium version on the uh, shin, and then there's a lower version where the big toes are just touching the floor. So take whatever tree pose is right for you. So small, medium, or large. and find your breath, because spot to look at, don't move your eyes. So the key to balance is focus. It's not so much strength, it's concentration. So listen to the sound of your breath. If you've got your leg out to the side, if you're holding a big toe, bring it back to center. Everybody bring the knee back to center and hold it up, squeeze it in more. Long, tall spine and take it all the way down. I'm just gonna do one more pose on this side to pick up that same right knee again. And you're gonna cross the ankle over the knee. And again, if you know you need some support, I've got a bookshelf here, I don't know if you can see it. You can't see it. So imagine there's a bookshelf there or fireplace. I've got my hands on the um, support. Otherwise you're doing it freestanding. If you want to sink your elbows a little further down, keep your bum low. Again, pick a spot to look at, don't move your eyes. A gorgeous hip stretch here. Standing all the way up with control. I'm wobbling on my ankle, but I know I'm strengthening it, strengthening it as I wobble. Everybody ready for the other side? Pick up the left knee or the left big toe if you're working on the straight leg balance. and then find your tree. So it might be just the big, the toes on the floor, might be on the shin, might be higher up. Find your breath. In and out through the nose, making the ocean sounds in the back of the throat. A sound that's louder than your thoughts. Bringing right into the moment. Remember, you can't breathe in the past, you can't breathe in the future. So if you're listening to your breathing, you are in the now. Bring it back to center. Cross the ankle over the knee. Remembering to flex the foot. So turn to face your support. If you need one, the table, back of a chair, bookshelf, fireplace, anything stable. Sink your hips low. And just make sure you're not crunching the back of the neck here. Looking down with all balanced poses, picking spots to look at, don't move your eyes, really helps with your focus. Coming 
all the way up, ooh, a wobble there, that doesn't matter. Brilliant Trini, looks excellent, very good cap. Coming to the front of the mat, we're going to come to the floor now. Big toes touch, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, hands up, shins, flat back. Exhale, hands to the floor, step it back. Lower knees, belly, chest. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, chin down, hips lift. Downward facing dog. So we are, have reached the peak of the mountain. We are on the home stretch now. So look forward. Uh, come to seated. Stretch your legs out in front of you. This may be where you need your. Um, I'm used to that so elegantly, and I do that. Like oh, I haven't done it in a long time, time though. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this is maybe where you need um, your yoga belt, your dressing gown belt, uh, scarf. We're going to just try and reach for the for our feet or shins. So take the hands alongside the hips. Just sit tall. This is so effortless when we're kids, and now when we're grow growing up, so it just feels feels a little bit harder, doesn't it? Inhale, raise the arms to the sky. Exhale, reaching for the shins, the outside of the feet, or wrapping a belt around. I'm going to get the belt and show you what that looks like. Can you reach for her feet? Yes. Hello. Excuse me. That. So you're wrapping it around your feet like this. Folding forward. So the hinge is from the hips here, so not rounding the lower back, so this is where the movement is coming from. You can see Trini's folding from the hips here. Really nice, pressing the legs down, reaching forward. So take your deepest hand position, it might be around the outside edges of the feet, it could, be, it could even be grabbing the wrist over your feet. You might just be working on, on your shins. Coming all the way up, release. Take the hands behind your fingertips, face the front of the mat, feet flat, and lifting the hips up for tabletop. So the heels are slightly uh, out, so that's it. Lift the hips. If it's comfortable for the neck, you can take it back. If not, just keep the chin tucked in. I'm trying to lift the hips as high as we can. Lovely shoulder stretch here. Deep breath in, long, slow breath out, and then tuck the chin in. We're going to lower the hips, but not all the way to the ground. I'm going to come off the toes. My heels are still on the floor. I'm going to see if I can take my hips coming forward. I'm bending forward through my bum. Oh, cool work. Shake out the wrists, cross the ankles, rolling over. Come on to your front. A bit more back strengthening work. Most of us are pretty... Uh, I'm much stronger in the front of the body than we are in our back, so we're going to be evening that up a little bit. Chin on the floor, take the hands alongside the body, palms face up. And here we're just going to lift the shoulders, lift the legs, point the toes, and then we're going to lift the head and chest and the arms as well. Back of the neck stays long, eyebrows soft, face nice and soft, locust pose, Shalabhasana. Really nice. How much more of your chest and your legs can you get off the floor? Feeling that girdle of muscle working in the back and interlock the fingers if you can stay up interlock the fingers drawing the fist back happy toes strong toes exhale chin down take the hands in front of you make a pillow rock the hips from side to side this time you're going to reach for the tops of your feet your knees are going to be as together as you can and lift all the way up again no crunching the back of the neck looking forward using the legs to lift the arms up that's it yes breathing one more breath in and one more breath out release make a pillow with your hands straighten your legs rock your hips from side to side very nice everyone. Rolling over onto your back. Bridge pose. If you have a block, it's a really nice chance to do supported bridge. So feet flat and the block, I'm going to shoot on the side. The block comes under your 
sacrum, the flat bone at the, oops, the base of your spine. Could we use anything else at home to do this? I would say not because you really need to be stable here. Um, you don't want to be um, using a kind of book that's not, you know, that might collapse underneath you. If not, if you don't have a block, you can just lift your hips, interlock the fingers underneath the back. That's it. So I start by lying down, actually lie, lie down first, and then lift the hips, and then place the block underneath the back. Yeah, so she's got it. Yeah. Firmly on the flat bones, so it feels very safe and stable. You've got to get a block because this is the most unwinding, relaxing feeling ever. Yeah. My favourite bit of yoga. Yeah. So usually we would do this more supported pose towards the end of the practice, um, and we'd stay here for longer because it is a lovely restorative pose. It really opens out all the, the digestive organs, the chest, all the things that we we sit so crunched um, during the day, and this is a really nice chance to. Open it all up, get some space, get some blood flowing. If you're doing the supported, if you're doing the normal bridge, come down. All the way down. Take the block away. We haven't quite finished yet. We've got a couple more poses to go before we finish. Hug the knees in. Rocking up and back, massaging the spine. the ankles, roll over, the back and down facing dog, getting ready for pigeon. Now this is, an, um, th this is a lovely hip opening pose and I'm, if you have knee issues I'm going to show you an option for that. First of all, uh, if you haven't got any knee issues, raise the right leg to the sky and then place the right knee just inside the right wrist. You're moving the shin towards the front of the mat and then come down with your hips nice and level. My hips are facing the front of the mat and then we're going to walk my hands forward and put my head on something, so a cushion, a block, or the floor. If you, this is too much for your knee, you're going to do it on your back. So remember that figure four bounce we did after tree, you're going to do the same but on your back. So the right ankle is over the left knee and you're drawing your left knee towards you. Pigeon on your back, so everybody's feeling that same hip stretch, it's just this one has less pressure on the knee, very nice. And what I love about Pigeon is that gravity and the floor are doing so much of the work for us and we can really start to release. Inhale, come up. Either stay high grab or grab the back foot and draw it in. There's a little quad stretch here to be had if you only if you want it. And release that back leg. The left one is going to swing all the way around. I, if you're watching this on playback, I know it's slightly, um, uh, it reverses the left and the right. I've got my left foot outside my right knee and I'm sitting nice and tall. Inhale, the right arm up and exhale. I'm either going to hug the knee or elbow outside knee. And then twisting to the left. So with every inhale, you lengthen your spine. And with every exhale, you turn a little bit more to the left. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. That's it. Put your hand behind you wherever you sit. It's comfortable. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. That's it. Ah, and that's the Andrasana. This is called it's an eavesdropping pose. Inhale, come back to centre. So that uh, uh, left knee that's on top is going to go out to the left and the right knee is going to, the right leg is going to straighten. We're in seated tree, Janusha Sasana. That's it. So you might have your belt handy if you want. Spin the navel over towards that extended leg and reach forward, roll the shoulders back and fold chin to shin. So I'm also pressing my heel into my inner thigh to keep that nice and stable. So with every inhale, you reach a little further forward. With every exhale, you release a little more. So if you want to take the belt, you can take the belt around the ball of the foot. Inhale, come up, keep the grip. Take the left hand behind you, counter stretch. You're just going to lift the hips up, press the right hand back. Exhale, come down. Cross 
the ankles, hands just in front of the hips, little lift, take the bum down, lift the knees off, I lift the feet off, if you want to straighten the legs, this is called boat pose, lift the chest, a little bit of core before we do the other side pigeon, and crossing the ankles, roll over, downward facing dog. Left leg to sky, and then you're in pigeon on the left. The left knee is just up inside the left wrist. Lifting the chest high as so I'm leveling up my hips to the front of the mat and fall forward. By the way, if you are rolling over onto your bum cheek, you can place a cushion or a block underneath that turf here. Fold forward. Make sure your head is resting on something so you can really release. If you are doing the version for dodgy knees, you're doing it on your back like this, left ankle over the right knee. So you're holding either behind the um, thigh or on the shin. Both feet flexed in this pose to protect the knees. <sighs> head is nice and relaxed. Tuning in to that ocean sound of the breath. So, yeah, so Trini, you can actually, if that's, um, I know that's so uh, painful on your shin sometimes, so you can just roll over to release the shin like that. Yeah, that's it. Ooh. Inhale, come up. If you grab the back foot last time, just squeeze it in a little bit, stretching out the uh, hip flexor on the, uh, on the right. And then we're going to swing that back leg, right leg, all the way around. Right foot outside, left knee, sit tall. So I'm trying to get both my, hip, um, my bum bones on the floor. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, take a twist. Elbow outside, knee or just hugging. So with every inhale, pressing into the back hand, growing taller. With every exhale, twist a little more. And you're looking where you want to go. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, twist. Inhale. Twist, ocean sound, very nice. A little bit harder to get the breath in these twists. Inhale, come back to centre, straighten the uh, right leg out. Left uh, heel comes into the inner thigh, seated tree. Take a little twist over to the right and fold forward, taking your belt if you like. Mm. That's it. So you're reaching for the outside of the feet. Try the outside of the feet, Trini, it's going to be nice on your shoulders. Heel into the inner thigh. With every inhale, you reach a little further forward. With every exhale, you fold a little deeper. It's so nice to close the eyes here. We really are on the home straight towards our final relaxation. So we're taking the um, tube, drawing the senses inwards. Hmm. Inhale, come up. Take the left hand behind you. We're going to lift the hips. Right arm comes up. Counter stretch, exhale, all the way down, hugging your knees in. Two options here, so if you have shoulder stands in your practice already and know what to do, please take it now. Um, if not, let's do cosmic egg together. So crossing the ankles, you're just going to hug your knees in and bow your head down, floating on your bum bones. You can take your feet to the floor if you like that extra bit of stability. Mm. Closing your eyes. Listening to the sound of your ujjayi, your ocean breath. Feeling like you're floating in space. If you're doing shoulder stand, please take your, head, your feet over your head in Plow pose and slot the fingers behind your back and take them to the mat. If your feet touch, if your feet don't touch the floor, please keep supporting your lower back with your hands. Mm. Here, if you're in Cosmic Egg, it's a nice time for a little affirmation or to set your intention for the day. It might be, today, I'm smiling. Today, everything is fine, I'm strong, I can do this. Shoulder standers, please make your way to the floor via fish pose. And everybody's releasing. We're gonna do 
one final restorative pose, which I know is Trini's other favourite, um, before we come into our final relaxation. So um, we will be on the floor um, lying still. So if you are in a cold space and you'd like a jumper, if you have an eye pillow that you'd like for your final relaxation, please uh, go and get anything you need now. Um, if you have a block, there's a version of this pose with the block too. So we're going to do, you're going to lie on the floor with your knees out and your arms in a kind of this shape, a cactus. And if you have a block and you want to make this into more of a heart opening pose, two ways you can put the block, you can put it under a kind of bra strap. I, do, I use it on the lower setting, sort of like a bra strap. Your head wants to be on the floor though. So you can see I'm getting much more of a chest opener here. Or there's the option to lie lengthways with the two, top two points just under your shoulder blades there. So whichever's more comfortable. Or you're just lying down, but in each case, your head is on the floor. Elbows are on the floor, your knees are flopping out to the side. So we're getting this lovely passive opening. So very gently using our ujjayi breath, we're about to let it go. Very nice. So this really is the opposite of what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. If you have a job or you spend a lot um, of your time uh, typing, folding, for, um, or doing with your legs compressed like that, it's a really nice chance to open up. And very gently release the block from behind you, lying all the way down, cover up with a blanket if you need to, put on a jumper, find an eye pillow, I'm going to get Trini's eye pillow, and um, Trini's going to show you how to lie down for your final relaxation. Lie down. <laughs> yeah. You have to lie down, just lie down. Yeah. Your feet. Right here, I can do it here because I've got a draft. Um, So lying down with your legs straight and your palms are palms are facing up, so there's no tension in the shoulders. No, you were right like that, Trini, that's perfect. And your feet might flop out to the side. So you want to feel like you're not holding on to any tension. And if you have an eye bag and put it down, you might want to adjust it. It's a really nice time to soothe the eyes. And there's a, yes, if you, if you find, some people do find that uh, lying down like this pulls on the lower back, then you can roll up a towel and, or have a bolster and put it under your knees, that's it. Just releases the lower back. So no special breathing now. Letting the body and the mind go really quiet, really still. I'm just going to be here for a couple of minutes. Nowhere to go. Nothing to do and no one to be.
have all the time in the world. Please stay here for as long as you like. Slowly starting to wake up the body. Maybe bringing some movement into your fingers and toes. to one side, like you're all about to get out of bed, and just stay there for a couple of breaths. And when you're ready, you can come on into the floor, and if you like to sit in any comfortable seated position, we're going to close the class with three humming breaths. Bolster your cushion or just in an easy cross legged position. Place one hand on your orange chair, one hand on your chest, the other hand over so you're feeling the breastbone. We're going to take three long, slow, humming exhales. Inhale. so much everybody for practicing with us today thank you Trini for hosting thank you for taking us through Victoria it was fabulous it's so nice that we're doing this um I hope you're all loving it because I'm really loving it I never ever thought ever that I would like yoga Victoria's got me to like it um great um lovely so yes blue eyed buddy thank you Monday Wednesday Friday we do Nat and Saturday morning we do yoga with Victoria um, so I hope you can join us for whenever you're free, just to keep yourself strong and sane. Um, 